Hey guys, I'm Jess from Rain Retail, and this tutorial will show you everything you need to know about serialized inventory management in Rain's retail point of sale software. We'll go over creating items, selling items, and managing items with serial numbers. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get all the latest how to videos. So let's get started. First, let's create a product with a serial number in the system. Click on Product at the top, then click on New Product. When the Add Product page comes up, toggle the Track Serial Numbers option to Yes. Then scroll down to the Styles and Pricing section. You'll see a section called Inventory. Click the Change link. You'll be able to enter in as many serial numbers as you'd like. I also recommend entering the cost of each unit, as well as extra costs like shipping. Click on the All Serial Numbers link if you'd like to see every serial number and the details that has ever been associated with that product title. Click Submit when you're done. Once you've submitted the serial number information, you can fill out the rest of the product's information, like title, description, and so forth. Make sure you click Save when you're done, and your serialized products will be added to the system. You can also receive serialized inventory through a receiving order. From the home page, click Inventory and New Receiving Order. Choose the store location and the vendor. Then simply scan in or enter the serial numbers or the name of the product that arrived and the costs will populate based on the information from the purchase order. Click here to add the serial numbers to the product, then click Complete to receive the product and update the inventory. Now let's sell the item. When you're ready to sell a serialized product in your register, click on the register icon. Then scan in the product ID or do a smart search for the title of the product. Matching items will display in a list and this serialized icon indicates a serialized product. Click on it to add the product to the transaction, and a serial numbers panel will pop up with the active serial numbers for that product. You can click on one to add it to the product, you can search for a specific serial number, or you can click enter it later to use TBD as a temporary ID. In the line item, you will see the serial number below the title, from here, you can apply any discounts and complete the transaction normally. Now let's manage our serialized products. The Rain Retail system has a module specifically designed to help you manage all of your serialized inventory. To get to the module, click on Inventory at the top of your page, then click on Serialized Inventory. Your Manage Serialized Inventory page will come up. Here, you can change a To Be Decided serial entry to a legitimate number, Swap an incorrect serial number for one that is in inventory. Enter new serial numbers for sold inventory. Correct serial numbers that were entered incorrectly. Look up any serialized item in stock. And add cost and shipping information for a serialized item. At the top of the window, you'll be able to filter the information in different ways. You can filter by location, or you can search for either sold or in stock items. Typically though, you'll just keep it set to all and use the search field to find what you're looking for. Just search for the title, SKU, or serial number, the customer's name, email, or phone, or the transaction ID. We'll use the serial number. To make changes to a sold serialized item, just click on the blue pencil on the right. Here, you can edit a number of things. You can modify a serial number, assign a new serial number, assign an existing serial number, as well as update other information like cost and freight cost. Just push save when you're done editing. If you want to see a full report on everything that's happened with a particular serialized item, click on the history icon here. You can see the receiving information, such as date received and what you paid for it. You can also see the transaction information for when you sold it. And if it's been in for service or repair, that is recorded as well. And you can click on the work order number to see the details. If it's ever been rented out, you can see the rental revenue you've collected for it, how many days it's been rented for, and the number of times it's been rented. And that's it. All right, guys, thanks for watching this video. 
If you found this video helpful, then please give us a big thumbs up. And if you have any questions, then please let us know in the comments below. I'll see you next time.